Hello everyone, hope you're all having a great day, and today we'll be discussing the different parts of synovial joints. Now in the beginning of this video, I'm going to mention the five components of synovial joints that are found in every synovial joint throughout the body. And after I've discussed those five components, I'll go ahead and elaborate more on different components that aren't found in every synovial joint, but only found in specific synovial joints. Okay? So the first part of a synovial joint that I'm going to identify is this right here. This outer membrane is called the articular capsule. And like the name suggests, it encapsulates the entirety of the synovial joint. Just deep to the articular capsule, and actually lines the inside of it, this right here is called the synovial membrane. The synovial membrane is important because it secretes synovial fluid inside the articular cavity. This space right here is the articular cavity. And like I just mentioned, the synovial membrane secretes synovial fluid into this space, this articular cavity. So this green is representing synovial fluid. And like I mentioned in the other video, synovial fluid is important because it provides lubrication between the two bones that are articulating with each other, as well as it provides nourishment for all the tissues and cartilages found within this joint. And the last part of a synovial joint is this cartilage located at either end of these bones. This is called articular cartilage. The articular cartilage is a cartilage that lines the articular surfaces of the joint. These cartilages are actually hyaline cartilages, and like I said earlier, they cover every point of articulation within synovial joints. This is important because with the synovial fluid in the articular cartilages, there isn't much wear and tear done on the joints. If the articular cartilage for whatever reason was eliminated or removed from this joint, it would be bone on bone articulating with one another, which would be extremely painful and it would actually degenerate the bone itself. So it's very important that we have articular cartilage. And these are the five components of a synovial joint. Now a way to remember these, because sometimes you can lose track of them all, is by this formula. A C cubed S M S F. Now what does this mean? Well, if you notice, articular capsule is A C, articular cavity is A C, and articular cartilage is A C. So you can have A C cubed. And after that, you have synovial membrane and synovial fluid. And that's how I remember the five components of a synovial joint. is AC cubed SMSF. Now that we know the five basic components of a synovial joint, we can go ahead and move on to other joint components that are found in other synovial joints. When dealing with synovial joints, there are ligaments that help connect the two skeletal structures together. In some synovial joints, there are more ligaments than others. There are three different types of ligaments found in synovial joints. The first one that I want to mention are ligaments found outside of the articular capsule. And again, they connect from bony structure to bony structure, like this. Since these ligaments are found outside the articular capsule, these are going to be called extracapsular ligaments. In some synovial joints, they even have ligaments found within the articular capsule. For instance, the knee joint has two of them, and it kind of goes in a crisscross shape like this. These two ligaments are found inside the articular capsule, so these are going to be called intracapsular ligaments. And the last type of ligaments found in synovial joints 
are shown in this image right here. In some joints, such as in the hip joint or the shoulder joint, the articular capsule has thickened regions in it. So right here we can see the articular capsule, and then if we look closely right here, we have three thickened regions of that capsule, and these are called capsular ligaments. Again, they're not outside of the capsule, and they're not inside the capsule, they're within the capsule. And that's why they're called capsular ligaments, because they're thickened bands within the articular capsule itself. And those are the three types of ligaments found in synovial joints. Now the last portion of this video, I want to discuss other joint components found in synovial joints. So we've already discussed the five basic parts of synovial joint, and we also discussed the three different types of ligaments found in some synovial joints. Now we can go ahead and discuss articular discs. Articular discs are interesting because they act as cushions between articular surfaces. For example, right here we have the temporal mandibular joint, where the mandible and the temporal bone articulate with one with another. On either side of the mandible, where the head of the mandible is, there is a articular disc made of fibrocartilage. This is an example of an articular disc. And its purpose is to reduce friction and to act as a cushion between the two bones. There are four pairs of joints that have articular discs found throughout the body. And I'm going to go ahead and write them right here. The first one being the sternoclavicular joint. After that, we have the temporal mandibular joint, like I just mentioned. We have the acromioclavicular joint. And the last joint that has an articular disc is the radiocarpal joint. Now how are you going to remember all these? Again, if we take the first letter of each word, S-T-A-R, that spells star. So if you can't remember where an articular disc is located, you could just think star, and that will help you indicate which joints have an articular disc. Now articular discs are roundish shape. They actually look like a disc, like what I'm drawing right here. But there's another joint component that acts as a cushion and to reduce friction between two bones, and it's not shaped like a disc. These are called menisci. In the knee joint, you have these two crescent-shaped cartilages found in the knee joint. And like I mentioned, these are articular menisci. Menisci is plural, meniscus would be singular. In the knee joint, you have a lateral meniscus. And a medial meniscus. And again, their purpose and function is very similar to those of articular discs, but the difference is that their structure or their shape is different from articular discs. And that's it. That concludes this video. Again, we went over the basic part of a synovial joint, as well as different components found in synovial joints, such as articular discs and menisci. And we also covered the three classes of ligaments. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.